Hello, this is Craig Wesco recording for TCGplayer.com. And today we're doing something a little fun. We're going to be playing Tribal Doggos in Modern. A couple weeks ago I brought you Tribal Cats for Modern. So for all you dog lovers out there, well, we have a dog deck today. Uh, it's not exactly Tier 1, but if you want something fun for f and uh, this is reasonably competitive and super fun. So the, the basis of the deck is to try to play as many doggos as possible. Uh, basically, since there's no tribal hound synergy, uh, and there's not really a lot of hounds in modern, uh, other than like Isamaro and a couple other reasonable ones, I went with the wolf theme since they are doggos. And the tribal synergy is silver fur partisan. So Silver Fur Partisan, whenever anybody targets any of your doggos, uh, you make another doggo. So basically, you reproduce whenever, uh, whenever they target your dog or whenever you target your dog by an instant or sorcery. So we have a few cards that interact favorably with the Silver Fur Partisan. One is Fiery Justice. So Fiery Justice, you can deal one damage to every, every doggo you control and they all survive because they're all at least two toughness, except for the young wolf, but that becomes a 2-2 anyway. Uh, little pupper. And then uh, also it makes a 2-2 for each of your wolves that you target. And it's also a reasonable removal spell, especially with Death Shadow being a big thing. It's good against Merfolk. It's good against decks that have like Bird's Paradise, Noble Hierarchs and stuff. So it's actually just a pretty well-positioned card in Modern. And given that we have this uh, Silver Fur Partisan, it has some extra synergies in our deck. So we play three of those. Another card that works really well with Silver Fur Partisan is Dramoka's Command. So all of us who, who have dogs in our lives, we know about dog commands. So sit, stay, roll over. It's a good boy. Yeah, that's basically what Dramoka's Command is. We're giving commands to the dogs. And the modes we can choose, we could do put a plus one plus one counter on target creature, and target creature you control fights and a target creature you don't control. So we can actually target two of our wolves, and even if we target the same wolf twice, uh, actually wait, my, okay, well anyway, we can target two of our wolves. One wolf can fight something, and the other one can get a plus one plus one counter, and since the partisan works when you target any of your wolves, you're targeting two of your wolves, so you're making two more wolves. So you can put a plus one plus one counter on your wolf. You can have your wolf fight down their noble hierarch or whatever, and you can make two wolves. So off of one card, you can basically make a pair of two twos and kill their creature and give your creature a plus one plus one counter. So you can get pretty crazy with the partisan. Uh, another card that works well with the partisan is blossoming defense. So they try to lightning bolt your silver partisan to kill it. Okay, you make a wolf because they targeted your partisan with an instant. Because uh, it's not just your instance, also theirs. And then in response, I target my silver fur partisan with blossoming defense. Uh, and I make another wolf. And then my partisan is gains hexproof. So the bolt gets countered. Uh, whether it's a fatal push, a bolt, a path to exile, a terminate, whatever they target the wolf with, uh, and they're probably going to be targeting the partisan um, because that's going to be the most important wolf usually. Um, and then you basically counter their spell and get a pair of wolves for one mana. So that's really good in this deck. Another one that is super sweet with the partisan is Bark Bark Shell Blessing. So with this card... You can cast it, kind of the same thing. If they bolt your partisan, you give it plus two, plus two to make it a four, four, and you get a wolf. Um, so you basically get a pair of wolves out of the deal. Or if you have two creatures on the battlefield, let's say you have a silver fur partisan and a watch wolf, then you can cast Bark Shell Blessing for one mana and target your partisan and conspire tapping the partisan and like the young wolf to uh, or whatever other wolf you have on the battlefield to target the other wolf or even the same wolf it, it counts twice when you conspire 
So you can target the partisan both times and you still get two, uh, two wolves. So you basically for one mana, you can increase a creature's power by four um, and make a pair of wolves. So that was pretty cool. And it's also in the deck because, you know, dogs bark. And then the other thing we can do is we can path to exile our own creature to make a wolf, uh, which comes up sometimes when we need mana to get to our four and five drops, uh, which again, I guess uh, we, we can go into that now. Um, basically the, the high end of the deck, we have all these birds of paradise, and noble hierarchs, just as mana. It's basically just mana dorks. Yeah, they're not wolves, but the only wolf that really taps for mana is the two drop werewolf. And I mean, that's just, we're just playing one mana. These are basically just mana uh, lands in the deck. So we want to accelerate into Huntmaster of the Fells, play him, make another doggo. He's a doggo, transforms into a mean ravaging doggo and starts killing stuff. And then he comes back, he makes another doggo when you transform back. Just really sweet in the deck. Really powerful card in modern. Garouk Relentless is like a dog whisperer. He makes a doggo every turn. Uh, and if you transform him, then you can start making death touch doggos and search your library for more doggos. So this card's pretty cool in the deck as well. And then Wolfire Silverheart is the huge doggo. It's like a great St. Bernard just giant, make a creature gigantic, and then he gets gigantic. Just a really, really big, fluffy doggo. And uh, yeah, that's basically what we're trying to do. We're trying to, we're trying to do a few things. We're basically just playing dogs and attacking with dogs and loving dogs. But basically, we want to be ramping into these big spells, or playing a partisan, and then using spells that target our wolves to make more wolves. Uh, and also we have a, a sort of body in mind because it's, you know, I'm Craig Wesco and I have to fit an equipment in the deck and this one makes dogs. So when, when we connect, you make a doggo and you mill 10. So that I had to fit one of those in the deck. And uh, let's see, what else haven't we talked about? Oh, so the lands, um, we play two arid mesas, four windswept teeth and uh, four wooded hit foothills so we have 10 fetches because in a doggo deck what dog doesn't love to play fetch we have to play 10 fetches and another card we have is Kessig wolf run because dogs love dog runs and we have Gavany township so that when we make a bunch of doggos off of Garrick and Huntmaster and silver for partisan we can make all our doggos bigger um, and then we have Mudavault because that counts as a doggo. We can target it with a spell and make another doggo off of Partisan. So that card is pretty sweet in the deck. And then we have a Canopy, just, you know, sack it, whatever. It's not essential to the deck. Um, it just was kind of thrown in, the, in there as the 22nd land because uh, I don't want too many colorless lands with cards like Fiery Justice in the deck. So I just stuck with four colorless lands, and then Canopy was just the last edition. Then in the sideboard, we have a bunch of hate cards that basically give us a chance against the unfair decks. Because let's be honest, we're being super ultra fair with this deck. You know, we're playing a tribal doggo deck. And if the opponent's trying to do something super unfair with like Affinity or Tron or you know, some combo deck, Ad Nauseam, uh, Valakut, like something that's just, we're not gonna have a chance against. We wanna have bullet sideboard cards uh, to, to be able to beat those strategies. So we have Forge Tender to protect our cards from Anger of the Gods, Pyroclasm, stuff like that. Also give us a, a better chance against burn decks. Uh, we have Rest in Peace um, to deal with any of the graveyard shenanigans. A lot of people are playing Tarmogoyf decks, um, Delve, Snapcaster Mage. Uh, other decks play like Past in Flames or um, just anything. You know, like, there's a lot of strategies. Dredge that just do unfair things with the graveyard. 
Uh, anytime you bring that in, make sure you take out the Young Wolf because the anti-synergy there. Stony Silence, good against Affinity, Tron, Lantern, um, Ad Nauseum. Just kind of slows them all down. When you bring this in, take out the Sword because it's obviously bad with Stony Silence. Uh, Gideon's Intervention, this one hasn't seen a lot of play in Modern, but I think it's pretty good. It's good against a lot of the combo decks that are especially focused on one particular card. So like Ad Nauseum, can't win with it. Uh, it's good against Storm. You can name like Past in Flames or uh, uh, Gifts Ungiven. Um, and depending on the circumstance, you can name whatever. Against, uh, like, it, you can name Valak at the Molten Pinnacle. And unlike Ruined Halo, it doesn't deal any damage to your creatures either under the intervention. So the Valakit just basically does nothing under if you have intervention naming Valakit. And it can also just be useful against like Death Shadow. So you just name Death Shadow, and then their pair of Death Shadows that are like 10 tens just are basically 0 10 walls. Because yeah, they can block a creature every turn, but they can't deal any damage to us or our creatures. So it's kind of like a removal spell against creature decks too. Um, so I have just four of those in the sideboard as just kind of an all-purpose type of thing. It's like a Nevermore and um, a Ruined Halo plus. Um, it's just really good right now. Uh, Fiery Justice, we have another one in case we play against uh, a deck with a bunch of low toughness creatures. So that's uh, pretty cool. And then Basilisk Caller, it's good against uh, like burn decks when you want life gain and against decks that have bigger creatures than us um, so that our smaller doggos can match up against the larger creatures because of the death touch. And also because, well, we're a doggo deck and this is a dog collar. So had to fit that one in there. And this is basically the deck. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty fun deck. If you're looking for a fun deck to play at FNM and you love dogs, this is definitely a fun deck. And uh, I'll show you how to pilot it, and uh, you'll see, hopefully, that it can compete reasonably well against some of the Tier 1 strategies in Modern. So let's go.